Hello everyone and welcome back to Glow Up. How to look cute and attractive in school. Are you ready to step up your style game and rock the school hallways with confidence? Well, you're in the right place because this video is all about helping you look cute and attractive in school without any fuss or complicated stuff. We get it, school can be a bit like a fashion runway sometimes, and you want to shine. But don't worry, you don't need a fancy wardrobe or hours in front of the mirror. Looking cute and attractive is all about embracing your unique self and making the most of what you've got. It's about feeling amazing in your own skin, being comfortable, and letting your personality sparkle. In this video, we'll spill the beans on easy and fun tips to help you look and feel amazing during your school days. From picking out the right outfit to nailing a simple makeup if you're into that. We will also share helpful tips for your academics as well as your attitude in school. Without further ado, let's get started. What does attractive really mean? Attraction is what makes something or someone appealing to people. It can include looks, personality, behavior, or other qualities that catch people's interest. It's different for everyone, as what one person finds attractive, another may not. Attractiveness can cover a wide range of qualities like physical beauty, confidence, kindness, and more, depending on what people like. If you're unsure where to start, here are some tips that will help you look attractive and become that student. Part 1. Personal Hygiene Personal hygiene is an essential aspect of maintaining a healthy and presentable appearance. Here are some personal hygiene tips for students. Tip number one. Keep your skin and hair healthy. When you take care of your skin and hair by washing them regularly, you prevent things like acne, oily hair, and dandruff. Establish a skincare routine by cleansing your face in the morning and before bed. Use a moisturizer suitable for your skin type to keep it soft and hydrated, and apply sunscreen daily, even on cloudy days, to protect your skin from UV damage. You don't have to do a 10-step skincare routine because it can take a lot of time and money. You can get good results with a simpler routine using a few products. Doing too much to your skin can sometimes make it worse and can be annoying. It's better to find a routine that fits your skin and is easy to stick to. When it comes to your hair, some people say it's okay to wash it daily, while others suggest not doing it. The idea behind not washing it every day is that it can strip away natural oils and make your hair dry. But if washing your hair daily works for you and it's still healthy, that's perfectly fine. The key is to find a routine that keeps your hair looking and feeling good without overdoing it. Everyone's hair is different, so what works for one person may not work for another. It's all about what makes your hair look and feel its best. Tip number two, use body mist or perfume. When you smell good, it boosts your self-confidence. You'll feel more comfortable interacting with classmates and teachers, and you won't be worried about any unpleasant odors. When applying perfume, a little goes a long way. Just a couple of spritzes on your wrist or neck should be enough. You don't want to be the girl with an overpowering scent in class. Tip number three, use deodorant. When you're at school, especially if you're physically active or nervous, you may sweat. Sweat itself doesn't smell bad, but when it mixes with the bacteria on your skin, it can create an unpleasant odor. Using deodorant is a considerate thing to do for those around you. Nobody wants to be in close quarters with someone who has strong body odor. By using deodorant, you're being thoughtful and respectful of your peers. Tip number four. Be mindful of your breath. Sometimes, after eating or when you're hungry, your breath can smell not so great. This is because the food can leave behind tiny particles in your mouth that bacteria love to munch on. This can lead to bad breath. Always carry breath mints or sugar-free gum with you to freshen your breath after meals or when needed. Also, stay hydrated and drink plenty of water to keep your mouth moist. Tip number five wear clean clothes. Think of your clothes like a fresh start each day. Changing into a new outfit every day helps you feel clean and confident. Before wearing anything, check if it's clean. 
If you see stains or spots, it's a good idea to wash that item. Dirty clothes can make you feel uncomfortable and look messy. Tip number six, practice good hand hygiene. Sometimes things like doorknobs, handles, and shared objects can have germs on them. So if you've been touching a lot of stuff, it's a good idea to wash your hands or always bring a hand sanitizer with you. Keeping your nails clean and trimmed is important for good hygiene. It's not just about looking good, but also about staying healthy and lowering the chances of spreading germs. Shorter nails are easier to take care of, and they won't bother you when you're studying, typing, or doing other things. When doing makeup for school, it's important to strike a balance between enhancing your natural features and keeping it subtle and appropriate for an educational environment. Here are some tips for school-appropriate makeup. A clean girl makeup look typically refers to a natural and minimalistic approach to makeup, focusing on enhancing one's natural beauty and appearing fresh and effortless. Clean girl makeup is all about looking fresh and pretty, by using simple and natural makeup making your own beauty stand out. To achieve this makeup, start with a clean, moisturized face. Use minimal foundation or concealer to let your natural skin shine through. Apply blush sparingly for a subtle flush and avoid heavy contouring. Keep your eyebrows tidy and natural using a brow gel or powder. Then, apply neutral or soft pastel eyeshadow for a barely there eye look. Add a coat of mascara to your upper lashes for a fresh appearance. Next, use a highlighter sparingly for a radiant, dewy glow. Opt for nude or light pink lip colors, lip balm, or clear gloss for a natural lip look. And that's it for the clean girl look. Super easy, right? Cute daily makeup is about creating a fresh and youthful look that enhances your natural beauty. It also focuses on using soft and subtle color palettes to achieve a sweet and approachable appearance while keeping the overall makeup light and suitable for everyday wear. To achieve this cute daily student makeup, the first step you need to do is to prep your skin. Apply a sheer, natural finish foundation or tinted moisturizer to even out your skin tone. Dab concealer on any blemishes, redness, or under eye circles, and gently blend it in with your fingertip or a makeup sponge. Brush your eyebrows and fill them in lightly with a brow pencil or powder to define their shape. Apply a neutral eye shadow like a soft brown or beige on your eyelids. Line your upper lash line with a brown eyeliner or a thin line of brown eyeshadow for a natural definition. If you want, add a coat of mascara to your lashes for a more awake look. Apply a soft blush to the apples of your cheeks for a healthy flush of color. Choose a natural lip color such as a nude, pink, or a tinted lip balm to enhance your lips. So that's how you do the cute daily student makeup look. This is perfect for students, as it's quick, easy, and enhances your natural beauty without looking overdone. This soft and glowy makeup look focuses on creating a radiant, natural appearance that enhances your skin's luminosity. It's perfect for achieving that fresh, healthy glow. This look typically involves sweet and youthful makeup with a focus on soft pink and rosy tones. Here's how to achieve this look. Apply a foundation or tinted moisturizer for the base. Cover your dark circles and blemishes. Keep your eyebrows soft and natural, fill them in with a brow pencil or powder. Add a little bit of contouring to subtly define your cheekbones and jawline. Use soft pink or rose-toned eyeshadows on your eyelids. Add eyeliner or some fox lashes to make your eyes appear bigger and more fluttery. Opt for a soft pink or peachy blush to add a youthful flush to your cheeks. Finally, a lippy. Choose a soft pink or rose-colored lipstick or lip gloss for a sweet and flirty lip look. So that's it for the soft glowy makeup. Getting ready for school doesn't have to be a daily struggle. It's all about finding the perfect balance between style and simplicity. Cute and simple hairstyles are your key to an effortlessly polished look that won't take up all your morning time. Here are some cute hair recommendations that are good for school. Hairstyle number one, headband. 
Headbands are a great hairstyle for school because they are quick, easy, and versatile, helping to keep your hair out of the way and express your individual style with minimal effort. Hairstyle number 2. Hair braids. Braids are an ideal school hairstyle because they're easy to manage, keep your hair looking neat, and come in various styles to suit your mood and outfit, making them a practical and stylish choice for school. Plus, braids are a protective style that can help prevent damage to your hair, so you can have healthy and beautiful locks while acing your school day. Hairstyle number 3. Hair clips. Hair clips come in a wide range of styles, colors, and sizes, allowing you to express your individuality. So whether you want a simple and tidy look with bobby pins or a more elaborate style, you can adapt the use of these clips to suit your personal style and the formality of your school's dress code. Hairstyle number 4. Hair Clamp. You can create various styles with hair clamps, from a simple bun to more elaborate updos, allowing you to express your individual style and adapt your look to different occasions or moods. Hairstyle number 5. Hair Bow. Hair bow clips are a pretty, practical, and versatile choice for school, adding a touch of charm to your appearance while being easy to manage and compliant with most school dress code policies. Plus, they can be a conversation starter and a fun way to express your creativity, making you stand out in the school crowd with your unique style. We all know that school can sometimes feel like a whirlwind of homework, classes, and friendships. But have you ever thought about the importance of how you present yourself at school? Believe it or not, the way you dress, how clean you look, and the way you smell can make a big difference in how you feel and how others perceive you. Here are some fashion tips and ideas to help you look cute and feel confident at school. Tip number one, dress comfortably. The most important thing is to feel comfortable in what you wear. Confidence is attractive, and you'll feel more confident when you're comfortable in your outfit. Tip number two, mix and match outfit. Create a versatile wardrobe with mix and match pieces. This allows you to create various outfits with fewer items, which is both cost-effective and stylish. Tip number three, invest in quality basics. Investing in quality basics, like a well-fitting pair of jeans, a white t-shirt, and a versatile jacket, is important because they serve as the foundation for creating a wide range of stylish and cute outfits. Plus, quality basics are classic and never go out of style. They can be worn year after year without looking outdated. This means you can get more value out of your investment in these pieces. Tip number 4. Play with colors. Experiment with a variety of colors that complement your skin tone. Don't be afraid to incorporate bold and vibrant shades into your outfits to stand out. Combine different patterns and textures for an interesting and stylish look. Just ensure they complement each other and don't clash. Tip number 5. Stay on trend. Keep an eye on current fashion trends, but don't feel pressured to follow them all. Incorporate trendy elements that suit your style and make you feel good. Tip number 7. Footwear matters. A cute pair of shoes can complete your outfit. Sneakers, flats, boots, and heels can all work depending on the occasion and your style. Having a good attitude at school is great because it makes learning easier, keeps you motivated, helps you make friends, and makes school more enjoyable. Here are some tips to help you maintain a positive attitude. Tip number one, smile and be friendly. A simple smile and being nice can make a big difference in how you feel and how others feel around you. Be friendly and kind to your classmates, teachers, and staff members. Tip number two, show confidence. Believe in yourself and your abilities. If you often feel shy in certain situations, such as speaking in class or participating in group discussions, preparation can be a game changer. Research and gather information beforehand, rehearse your thoughts or answers, 
and practice speaking in front of a mirror or with a trusted friend or family member. Confidence is attractive, so try to build it by setting goals, acknowledging your strengths, and working on self-improvement. Tip number three, be yourself. Embrace your unique qualities and be authentic. Authenticity is incredibly attractive. Embrace your quirks and uniqueness. They make you special. Trying to be someone you're not will ultimately be unfulfilling. Celebrate your individuality and let your true personality shine. Tip number four, don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to compare yourself to classmates or celebrities, but remember that everyone is unique. Focus on becoming the best version of yourself, not a copy of someone else. Success in academics is not solely about intelligence. It's also about adopting effective study strategies and a disciplined approach to learning. As a student, you have the potential to excel in your studies with the right tools and techniques at your disposal. Here are some effective academic tips for students. Tip number one, practice good time management. Stay organized and manage your time effectively. This will help you balance your schoolwork, extracurricular activities, and personal life, reducing stress and enabling you to be more attractive to others. Tip number two, create a study schedule. Having a regular study routine means picking specific times when you focus on your schoolwork and also taking short breaks to rest your brain. This helps you learn better and not get too tired. Tip number three, be involved in school activities. Participate in extracurricular activities or clubs that interest you. This not only helps you meet new people but also shows that you are actively engaged in the school community. Tip number four, maintain good grades. Putting effort into your schoolwork and trying to do your best is really important. When you do well in school, it's not just about looking good to others that can also lead to some amazing opportunities. For example, good grades can help you get scholarships, which means you can go to college without worrying too much about money. And colleges likes to admit students who do well in school because they know those students are prepared for success in the future. Tip number five healthy lifestyle. Keeping yourself in good shape, both mentally and physically, is super important. To do that, make sure you get a good night's sleep to help your brain function better for school and fun activities. Stay active by doing activities you enjoy, like playing sports or going for a walk, which not only keeps your body fit but also boosts your mood. Remember, it's okay to take short breaks when you're tired or stressed. It can recharge you. Learn to relax with deep breathing or simple meditation techniques to reduce stress and stay focused. And if you ever feel overwhelmed, don't hesitate to reach out to someone you trust for support and advice.